Hello, and welcome to Talk About It Thursday with Brie. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so happy that you are spending time here on this channel with me. So Talk About It Thursday is just a weekly talk where I talk about things that have affected me in my life or that I have seen affect people that are close to me. I really think about it, digest it, and find ways to get through those things positively, optimistically, and healthily. So if you have a topic that you would like to have discussed, please send in your questions, send in your stories. I love to hear them so that I can speak upon them if you'd like to have my opinion or perspective or view on them. So what are toxic people? How do they make you feel? And how do you deal with them? A toxic person is anybody who affects you or impacts you negatively, um, makes you just feel uneasy, don't confuse this for um, for makes you feel a certain way because no one can make you feel a certain way. You have to allow them to affect you. But what I'm saying is when you are aware that there is a person that has the ability to have a negative effect on you or has a negative effect on you if you are around them too long. So this is a person that tries to lower your self-esteem by saying things about you or to you, to your face, or maybe indirectly. These are the people that they joke and they put you down, but they're like on the sly about it. Some people are not on the sly about it. Some people are just straight up and open about it. These are the people that try to lower your self-esteem or try to make you feel lesser than, and they try to do it um, either covertly by asking you questions that can just kind of make you doubt yourself, or they do it overtly where they just, they're trying to make everybody see how beneath you are to them. These are the people that have maybe been in your life for a very long time. These people can be your friends. These people can be your coworkers. These people can even be your managers and bosses. These people can be your parents, your grandparents. Um, these people usually have low self-esteem and because they want to um, feel like they have some type of power, some type of, of control of someone's emotion or self-esteem um, because they don't have control of their own, they will try to put that negative energy onto you. Now, if you yourself are a person that is not um, strong in their own self-esteem, that is not strong in their own confidence of who they are, if you're someone who's still trying to figure out who you are, the, you are in a dangerous position because you are very susceptible to what people tell you. If someone tells you something, usually you're the person that, you know, whether if it's good news, you feel really good. If it's if they say something negative about you, you feel really, really bad. So you are almost like a sponge, and I am the same way. If someone gives me a compliment, usually I tend to get very happy. If someone says something negative to me, I feel really like, oh man, maybe I should do something to change their mind. But throughout my life, I've had to learn that whether someone says something good or bad about me, I cannot take their their what they're saying for face value because they're speaking upon a way that they feel. So depending on how they feel, shouldn't necessarily affect how I feel, but instead take it, take what they're saying, appreciate what they're saying, whether it's good or bad, and for yourself, for yourself, analyze and digest and decide to agree or disagree with what they're saying. Do not just take what they're saying for your own truth or as your own truth. Second point is, how do you feel around them? Do you feel that when you're around them, you feel a little bit more heavy? Do you feel that when you're around them, all of a sudden you have to watch what you're saying or you have to uh, change or um, there's something that you have to adjust because it's just, it's not a high frequency. It's not an uplifting frequency. It's not an encouraging frequency. Instead, it's a, it's a, oh, I have to become more small. I have to, um, you know, come inside of myself to retract. These, this is, these are little signs and subtle signs that you may just be overlooking, but this is definitely a sign of someone that is, uh, or you're in a situation that is not uh, for your growth. It's literally belittling your creativity, your progression, and even your esteem. Um, you may feel self-conscious around them. You may feel like you have low self-esteem around these people. Um, you may feel heavy and even dead, like um, just 
these are just signs of like how you feel around these people. And thirdly, uh, what do you do about it? What do you do about these situations? What do you do about these people? Because it's an it's inevitable. You're gonna come across these types of people. You're gonna come across these situations. So what do you do about them? Um, what you can do is remember to remain in your happy bubble. Remember that no matter what happens, you are in charge of your own mental health, your own spiritual health, and your connection between you. So I kind of gave. I kind of gave you a solution earlier. Remember, with what they're saying, remember to analyze. Is what they're saying the truth? Because we all have those friends that they do kind of nudge us and they do push us and they do tell us the truth. And sometimes it does hurt. But does this mean that this truth is wrong and they're trying to hurt us in a in a, a vindictive way? No, sometimes your best friends could tell you the truth and it could hurt. But it's what you need to hear. So you need to be able to you need to be able to create that differentiation or radar between what is uh, someone telling me that maybe um, that could be painful or that could hurt or sting a little bit. Is this for my growth? Is this helping me? Or are they saying these things to actually hurt me? Because there is a difference. There's people that are actually saying the truth to you because they want you to be the best version of you, and they see something that you know just isn't in line with what your truest and highest potential is. And then there's just people that are just saying it because they just want to, you know, get at you and like make you feel underneath or below them. So don't just, I wouldn't say, don't just snap and say, oh, they're being negative, they're out of my life, or they're negative and, you know, they hurt me, so now they're, they're out. I want you to take what they're saying and really analyze it and then make a decision from there. Secondly, you can... Choose who you're going to spend your time with. If these people are your family members, like your mother or father, um, and you kind of like have to spend holidays with them, remember, you don't have to spend your entire day with them. Limit your time. Like, I understand that you gave birth to me and that you raised me, but also like I have to live an entire life where I potentially may have to raise somebody else. And I want to raise those people or those potential adults and humans into great people. And if I'm not surrounded by great people, how am I going to be great to be great for those people? You need to take charge of your time. Who you spend your time with is what you are inviting into your life. If you want to invite negativity and low self-esteem into your life and toxic people, then that's fine. That's your decision. And people have to respect your decision because it is ultimately your life. On the verse side of that, you already know what I got to say about it. And thirdly, be what you want to have in your life. If you want to attract this popping person, this popping group, this group that's inspiring, this group that's motivating you, then you need to be that person for those people. Because it's an exchange. Energy is always an exchange. Energy is always flowing. So you want it, you need to exude it. Okay, and that's just my talk about it Thursday for today. I hope this has helped you in some way. I hope this has inspired you in some way. And if it has, share this video. I love you. I appreciate you. Share this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for next week's episode of Talk About It Thursday. Love you and peace.